We're really proud to be able to launch our brand new Yaris GR and Toyota Corolla GR turbo blanket. These have been long anticipated and there isn't anyone else on the market that sell these. These are now available in both titanium and carbon fiber and you can find them in our web store. Let's see how to fit them. First up, let's see what's in the packet. So we've got our turbo blanket. This will either be in titanium or carbon fiber. It's actually quite a simple design and you'll see how that works in just a moment. Also in the packet, you'll get two springs and your product guide. I recommend reading this cover to cover to learn a little bit more about how turbo blankets work and the do's and don'ts surrounding them. So let's get started. So the Yaris Turbo is actually really interesting. It's got the manifold and the turbo all in one unit. It's quite unique because it is three cylinder, which means it's quite small in this section, but the turbine housing is actually really big. You can see that that's reflected here on the turbo blanket. So at the top there, you've got the manifold portion, and then this bit here wraps around the turbo. So if I lay the two against each other, you'll see that it will sit something like this. I understand that in your car, it might be quite tight in the engine bay, but I've shown you this here on the bench to show you a much clearer view of where everything goes and the routing of the various springs. Okay, so let's get down to it. So first up, you're gonna find your two springs and you're gonna locate the hardest to reach anchor points, which are these two here on the towel. We always try to fit them first because it makes it easier to grab them later and fit them as opposed to trying to get in the depths of your engine bay. You fit those nice and simple, just like that, one there, and the second one in the same way, just like that. Once you've done that, locate the actuator arm on your turbo, this bit here, and you wanna be able to slide this towel underneath that, just like this. And then once you're at this stage, just pull it all the way through until the manifold portion is sitting nicely over the free runners. So when you get to this stage, you'll notice there's a nice cutout to work around the actuator and wastegate workings. And as I mentioned, the towel's gonna slide all the way underneath and all the way around the back, essentially coming around underneath the turbo, back on itself, just like this. No need to worry about fit too much here because we've gotta be able to manipulate that a little bit better once the tension from the springs are in place. So you'll notice here that the anchor point and the spring is just poking out here. Some people do like to tie a cable tie or something on the end, just for easy access to that and you can always cut it off after. Here you can see me giving that method a go. You don't have to use this, but some people find it a little bit easier. So once you can get one in place, it will just hold the blanket nicely. I appreciate this is a lot easier on the bench than it will be in your engine bay. A little bit fiddly, but it shouldn't take you too long. Once the first one's in, let's flip it around and do the other side. So from this angle, you can see it's a little bit congested, quite tight. If we compress the blanket down, you might just see the spring poking through on the far side. Again, the cable tie method might really help you out just to try to get a little bit more length and grab that through there. So once you've got that, again, it is a little bit fiddly, so once you have that, you just want to clip that in place, just like so. The blanket will now hold itself together and you can manipulate that to get it sitting a little bit nicer. First up, you want to really try to maximise the coverage on your, uh, on your manifold section. Just by pulling that down, then you can move to the rest of the uh, blanket, making sure that nothing's in the way of the actuator arm, everything's sitting as it nicely should. So here you just wanna make sure that the turbo blanket is nice and parallel with the side of the turbine housing, and that should nicely line up with the, uh, the flange on the exhaust exit. And that's it, you're set. Should look something like that, relatively simple to do. So there it is, quite a simple turbo blanket to fit, but it'll be very effective at trying to reduce those air intake temperatures and lower underbody temperatures. Again, this is the only turbo blanket on the market for the GR platform. Find these online at funkworksport.com.